It's a Welcome back to the channel. So I, w I thought I'd make a video about just having like a general discussion about Xbox Game Pass versus PS Plus catalog and premium and stuff. Just after this, this upcoming December one game reveals about what's coming to the services like it doesn't make sense what you're getting on the playstation side i love playstation i love xbox i'm not into that console war bullshit that's 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 like every day you see on twitter like people going in and that's just stupid like console warriors are like the bottom of the food chain like yeah i don't even want to go into it anymore like you know yeah but what i'm saying like this month for for xbox game pass yeah ultimate and game pass itself you're getting far cry 6 remnant from the ashes tomb raider spirit of the north steam world build which is a day one drop mm, tin hearts while the iron's hearts world War Z aftermath clone drone in the danger zone remnant 2 which is a phenomenal game and came out i think it's in july 23rd or something like that Gold similar to and against the storm for pc and for this month for playstation plus monthly games are lego 2k drive Ugh. power wash simulator which to be fair that's 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 an okay game like i actually like that a lot i played a bunch of it when it came out on game pass was it last year either early this year or last year i can't remember exactly but whenever it came out on it i played a bunch of it it's it's very cathartic it's very relaxing you know you just go around and you just watch stuff <laughs> you 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 listen to that and you think oh yeah that's not fun but it actually it actually is pretty fun yeah it is pretty fun like for a game that i'm not used to it's pretty fun and sable like i haven't played sable so i don't have any opinion but i know it's an indie game i think yes it's an indie game and lego 2k drive uh, i don't know the developer but it was published by 2k obviously yeah so like the different the difference in in quality of game is ridiculous when playstation plus recently got a was it 30 or 40 percent price increase a few months ago and the quality has not increased dramatically like this is what happened when you have an incumbent a uh, dominant player in any industry they take advantage of their customers and the customer base in general and it's just ridiculous like there's not much people can do like like whenever xbox does anything um everyone comes out and they rebukes it they you know many times xbox actually revolts it when they try to raise gold by 50 percent everyone came out and within 24 hours it was reverted but with playstation playstation doesn't care whatever happens happens um you know their customers their fanboys especially defend them no matter what like everything they do their fanboys defend them and it's just ridiculous like you cannot be cockling the cock of a corporation as much as they do it's just ridiculous never be a fanboy of these companies because they don't love you they don't like you they just want to get as much money out of you as a customer as they can and they will do any and anything in their way to get that money yeah so i don't fanboy companies like you know i don't fanboy I, I, maybe i fanboy games like i'm a big halo fan so like i'm a big halo fan but i've on twitter and wherever else i've put 343 to the ringer because um halo infinite launch okay but then the content was so lacking and limited and there were so many issues it was just ridiculous like they what they get what they got is what they definitely needed to get and you see some developers just get away with it some publishers get away with it and it's just ridiculous yeah that's just all i want to say like after watching game but the game pass reviews this morning from the twitter account it's just ridiculous the amount of value that you're getting game pass is literally the best deal in gaming and anyone who said also otherwise is you know basically lying because there's just so much content there i'm 
I'm subscribed until 2027. I think I recently re, re upped. Yes, yeah, so I'm happy about that because like that's an investment and I can play all the day one games from Xbox Game Studios. And now hopefully when Activision and Blizzard games come into the fold and maybe we get some perks from King Mobile game that's coming to effect effect. It's yeah, and we already get Bethesda games. So it's just amazing the service that it is in comparison to PlayStation Plus premium extra and essential what you're getting is not worth it for the price increases they recently did and it, it like I, I don't know what to say like if if some gamers are not gonna speak out about it nothing's ever gonna change you cannot let these corporations get away with stuff like this it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous yeah so if you like this video if you like more content like this i didn't write and i'm just speaking off the off the cuff off of my head you know, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.